Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Tyler here and today we are bringing you episode 2 of the Las Vegas Raiders franchise here in Madden 21. So today we have week 1 starting off the 2020 season taking on the Carolina Panthers. We got two new head coaches in this game as you got Matt Rule taking over the Panthers with his new quarterback Teddy Bridgewater and then you got Dusty Jones taking over for the Las Vegas Raiders. So a lot going on here in the first game. We'll see uh we'll see what happens. Derek Carr, Josh Jacobs, and company. We'll see if that offense can get going today as Teddy Bridgewater will be out there with a bunch of good receivers along with Christian McCaffrey. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to go ahead and get this kickoff going. We've got Darren Carlson teeing it up, getting the 2020 season underway. And there it goes. Carolina going to get the ball first here at home as they get the return here. He takes it out of the end zone. It's going to get past the 20 and taken down around the 23 or 24 yard line. And that is where Teddy Bridgewater was set up shop. He started a, a few games last year for the Saints when Breeze was injured and he went undefeated in those games. He looked pretty good. He can run the offense pretty well. Not like a real big threat to throw deep, but he is a very good quarterback managing the team. So we'll see what he can do out here on his first drive. We got first and 10 from the 24. We got three tight ends in the formation on the first play. It's going to be a handoff to McCaffrey on the right side. He tries to cut back middle. But he's going to be taken down by Cleveland Farrell and Mo Hurst. Second and seven now in the shotgun. McCaffrey set up to the right. Bridgewater to throw. And it is knocked down by Kwiatkowski, intended for DJ Moore. Nice play there by our middle linebacker. And that'll bring up third down. Teddy Bridgewater back to throw once again. He's going to roll to the left side, and he's going to scramble, and he's going to be taken down by Trayvon Mullen just short of the first down. So three and out, good start to the game for our defense. That'll bring out Derek Carr in the offense now, going into year seven. We'll see if Derek Carr can finally, you know, get some good numbers up there. He's had some up and down years, but we really need him to be a star this year for us, especially since we don't know if he's going to be a part of the future of this team going forward. So without further ado, first and 10 from the 36. We're going to go to Josh Jacobs on the first play. He goes left side, and that's about a gain of eight. Good play there on the first uh, play for the offense. Now second and two, I formation. We're going to hand it right side. Jacobs again only gets a few here, but he has enough for the first down. But bigger news, Jacobs is hurt here. So definitely not a good sign. Second play of the game, and he is already hurt. You see him on the sideline here. I'm hoping it's just some cramps, you know, first game of the season with no preseason, and it looks like that might be the case as they are stretching him out over there. So hopefully nothing too serious. We'll check on that here soon. Fresh set of downs from the 48. We got Richard in the backfield. Throwing it right side, we got Aguilar, who makes a nice catch in front of Dante Jackson as we move to chains once again. As you see, I was right. Just some leg cramps for Josh Jacobs, but it says re-injury risk is high, so we're going to go ahead and leave him on the sidelines for right now. We'll uh, stick with Richard and Devontae Booker for the rest of this series. I formation here on first down, and Derek Carr is going to take the snap. We hand it to Richard left side. He's got a big hole, and he tries to cut back, but he actually ran into his lineman and is down after a gain of nine. So Booker is now inserted into the backfield, still in the I formation. We hand it to him. Nice gain straight up the middle, about five yards, picking up yet another first down. Now second and eight here. Carr is back to throw. He's going to go left side short to Richard, and he's going to be tackled right away. Unfortunately, unable to get anywhere on that one, and that'll bring up third down. Booker to the Carr's left. We're going to drop back, and we actually drift right into the pass rush. Carr's got to do better staying in the pocket right there and letting those routes develop. Burns gets the sack on us. That makes it fourth and 19, so... Unfortunately, we're going to have to bring out the field goal unit. As you see, we drifted right into him. Got to stay in the pocket there. So Dan Carlson comes out for a 50-yard field goal attempt. The wind is coming at us, so we'll see if he has the leg for it. Right down the middle, and it is good. So we go up 3 nothing here with eight minutes to go in the first. And the defense is now back out on the field. We got Trips bunched to the right, Bridgewater in the shotgun. He's going to hand it to McCaffrey. And he's not going to get much here. Only a gain of one. Nice tackle by Max Crosby there on the edge. Now second and nine. We got Twins to the left. And he's going to look that way, finding his man DJ Moore. And he makes a nice catch and gets about 12 yards on that play. First and ten from the 33. Same formation. They're going to hand it off this time. And the ball's loose. And we recover it. Mo Hurst with the fumble recovery. A huge hit there by Nick Kwiatkowski. 
Christian McCaffrey unable to keep that ball secure right there. Such a nice hit right there by Kwiatkowski. He's, I have a feeling he's going to be the anchor of our defense there in the middle, so hopefully he can keep making plays like that and heads up by Mohurst to fall on that fumble. So that'll bring out Derek Carr in the offense once again. As you see here, Josh Jacobs is coming back on the field. So the leg cramps are have subsided, and he is back out there for this first and 10 play. He's going to get the ball, and he had a nice little hole there, but that's a good play by Shaq Thompson as he was engaged in a block and still able to make the tackle. But you see Trent Brown actually a little shaken up on the play so hopefully that ain't too serious that'd be a big blow to our team so we will see here soon what his injury is and hopefully he can get back out there in this game they are looking at his arm and shoulder though so that could be serious car back to throw on second and 10 here he hits rugs over the middle and he falls ahead for the first down yardage just to gain a 13 as we are entering the red zone for the first time today and see here trent brown is just a bruised shoulder so thankfully nothing too serious he will be back out there and now we have second and seven from the 14 car in the shotgun he's gonna look to the right and he looks back in the middle and he's got tyrell williams for the touchdown making a nice catch in traffic trey boston came over made a good hit on him but unable to jar that ball loose as car connects with tyrell williams for our first touchdown of the year and that will put your las vegas raiders up 10 to nothing All right, from the 28-yard line, Bridgewater is under center to start this drive. He's going to look right side, and that's his tight end, Ian Thomas, making the catch for a gain of seven. Second and three now. They're going to hand it off to McCaffrey, and he breaks one tackle, gets the first down and more with the juke, and he's down finally at the 49. Big play there for McCaffrey. All right, first and ten. They're in the shotgun with Bunch trips to the left, and he's going to look that way. Wide open is his other tight end, C.J. Manhurts, and he makes the catch. Nice gain right there. It'll bring up second and inches. And they'll hand this one to McCaffrey, and he doesn't get much, but it's enough for the first down. So they'll move the chains there for Carolina, and Dusty Jones is just not happy that Carolina is driving. So we'll see if the defense can hold them here. Bridgewater back to pass once again. He's got McCaffrey in the flat, and he makes a catch and absolutely throws. I think that was Lawson off of him, and that was just not good. So hopefully, uh, no, that was Abram, my bad. And now in second and two, they hit McCaffrey up the middle for the nice run, getting the first down. And here we got him sucked to a third and five. So we'll see if we can make the stop, but he's got his man, CJ Manhurts, once again, and he gets all the way down to the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown there for Carolina. As Manhurts with the catch and run, we got to get to him quicker and take him down. Unfortunately, Malik Collins comes up hurt on the play and bruised ribs. He will be able to return to this game, but I'm not going to bring him back in in the first half. We'll wait till the second half to put him back in. He's just a rotational D lineman anyways. And the first play there, oh, that was second and eight. Goes incomplete over the middle. Now we have a third and eight. Going over the middle once again. Ruggs makes the catch, and he gets away with his speed. Nice gain right there all the way out to midfield. Got to like rugs out there with all that speed, man. You get so much separation, and that was a big play. Second and ten now. We're going to go with play action, and Carr's going to fire over the middle, and it's caught by rugs once again down to the 21. Another huge play, but there is a flag, and yes, it is going to come back. We got holding on the offense. They actually get Darren Waller as we had an extra protector in there on that one. So after an incompletion, we now have a third and 20, and we're just going to try to get a screen set up for Jacobs. He makes the catch, and he's only able to get a couple yards on that one. So we have to punt the ball away back to the Panthers. And they start this drive from the 25, handing it to McCaffrey, and he goes nowhere. Nice stop in the middle there by Littleton and a couple of the linemen. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter, where your Las Vegas Raiders still hold the lead 10-7. to And we'll see if we can extend on that here in a second. We got third and nine. Bridgewater in the shotgun. Looking to throw, and he finds his man, Curtis Samuel, on the left side. And he's going to get a big gain all the way out to the 46 into Raider territory. Teddy Bridgewater, 6-9 for 84 yards thus far, having a pretty decent start in his first game with the Panthers. Now we have a second and seven here. Bridgewater back to throw once again. He's going to roll to the left side, and he's actually going to run and get a few yards here before Max Crosby is able to bring him down, gain of about four. So third and three from the 40. See if we can force a punt here. It's going to be play action pass. Bridgewater goes over the middle, and that's going to be picked off. Raquan McMillan with a huge play. 
He looked over the middle and did not see McMillan. He comes flying in for that pick. Great play right there by the linebacker. And we got to capitalize off that turnover now. We're going to go deep on the first play, and Aguilar goes up with a great one-handed catch. Got to love seeing that from Nelson Aguilar. 27-yard gain. As we'll get a couple other looks at this, he just goes up and gets it. Very nice play over Dante Jackson right there. Got to love it, man. Aguilar looking good so far. All right, first and 10 from the 35. We're going to pitch this one to Jacobs on the left side. He makes a nice cut up field to get a few there. Wasn't a whole lot going, but able to get a few yards. Second and six now, RPO. We go ahead and hand it off to Jacobs up the middle. Nice gain. We get about 13 on that one. Into the red zone once again. So we'll see if we can punch it in just like we did last time. Uh, first and 10, we're in the strong eye to the right. We'll see what we do here. And Carr's going to snap it. We hand it off to Jacobs, and he tries to go left. He falls forward for a gain of about four. Not much going there. Nice tackle by Derek Brown, but we still got four yards. I'll take that on first down. Second and six now. Richard's in the game, but we're going to hit Waller over the middle. He was just wide open on that short curl route. He gets the first down and is down to the five-yard line, setting up goal to go for the Raider offense. All right, first and goal. We'll see if we can punch it in here. Jacobs up the middle, gets about three, down to the two. Once again, Derek Brown on the stop. They got two huge defensive tackles in the middle. That's going to be tough to go against. And on third and goal, we try to sneak it in with Carr. And that's the other one, k Short. Big body right in the hole, had nowhere to go, and Carr is stuffed. And the Raiders are going to go for it here on fourth and goal from the one. They go play action, and the pressure gets there. Carr rushes it, and it's incomplete, intended for Foster Moreau. As you'll see here, our fullback Alec Ingold was actually wide open. So if it wasn't for the rush, maybe I would have saw him. But nevertheless, it is first and 10 from the one for the Panthers now. And McCaffrey goes right side. He has a lot of space, and he's off to the races. And luckily, Eric Harris is able to trip him up and bring him down at the 36. But anytime you start a possession from the one, you definitely want to stuff those guys. And for them to get a big play like that on the first play, it definitely sucked. So Bridgewater kept it on the read option there, only gets a yard. That brings up third and six. He drops back to throw, and he is sacked. They tried to get the screen set up, but Mo Hurst was too quick to him and got the sack. Very nice play by the big man, Mo Hurst. All righty, we start this next possession from the 28. We're going to motion our man out to the right, and Carr takes the snap. It's going to go to Jacobs. He's going to try to go left, but there's nothing going there as our line in there was pushed back right into us. Nice tackle there by... Jermaine Carter Jr. It's now third and 11. We're going to go deep, and that ball is going to be broken up. Intended for Aguilar. Trey Boston on the defense there. So we punt the ball right back, and our punter is not very good, so that's why they're starting from the 44. So I might have to make a change at punter. As you see, Curtis Samuel makes the catch over the middle for a big gain over to the 40-yard line. Now they have a second and six, and that's going to be a handoff to McCaffrey up the middle, and he only gets a couple yards right there. Nice tackle by Malik Collins. Now third and three, we'll see if we can make the stop, and that's a big play, and another fumble. Eric Harris jars it loose from McCaffrey in the backfield, but to me, it looked like he might have been down on that play, and as of right now, it's Raider football. But before the next play goes off, they're actually going to go to a booth review, as you'll see here in a second. McCaffrey was down just in time, but nevertheless, good play by Eric Harris. That would bring up fourth down. And they would have to kick a field goal. So Carolina ties it up 10-10. to -10. Just over two minutes to go here in the first half. We're in the I formation. We're going to go to Jacobs up the middle. Big hole. And he gets close to first down yardage. About nine yards on that one. Nice play right up the middle. And now we got second and one. And the Raiders might let this go to the two-minute warning here. We'll see what they decide to do. And they actually get the snap off. Going left side with Jacobs. And that's a first down. He picks up about five or six on that play. Now we have second and seven, a minute and a half to go. Car back to throw, and he goes right side to Aguilar, who had a nice in route going there, but the throw was not even close. It brings up third down, so we'll see what Carr can do on this one. And he finds Waller over the middle. That's a first down out to the 34. Very nice uh, throw and completion right there. And we take our first time out of the half. Now we got second and 10. Carr dropping back once again. He's going to go deep right side, and that is going to be picked off. 
but it was out of bounds thankfully intended for Ruggs so we have another chance here at third and ten Carr looking to throw and he's gonna go over the middle and Renfro goes up he had it for a second but it was jarred loose that was a tough play right there so we'll go ahead and settle for the 51 yard field goal Darren Carlson on and that one is good he drills it this time kicking with the wind but there's a flag this might be roughing the kicker and yes it is that means we have a fresh set of downs keeping the ball 40 seconds to go we'll see if we can get a touchdown so on first and 10 here car back to throw he goes quickly to Aguilar he makes a nice catch only about four or five yards on that play but good little play we go no huddle under a half a minute to go car snaps it he's looking for Waller he's got him but he's unable to hang on for the touchdown you got to bring those in Waller it was jarred loose he brings up third and six and this time we're going to roll right side and we're going to loft it to the end zone, and he doesn't get enough on it as it is picked off by Dante Jackson. Tried to get it back in the corner of the end zone, the back corner that is. Instead, it went to the front corner, and it was just too easy of a pick there. So that roughing the kicker actually helps out the Panthers as we head into half with a tie score of 10-10. to So we'll see what we can do in the second half, make some adjustments. Definitely got to finish these drives. So we'll see what we can do. As we start with the ball, Derek Carr, 10 of 21 for 129 yards. Surprising to see after his 8, 11, 8 for 11 start. 3 for 10 since then. So we'll see if he can get back on track. First play of the half, we're going to go ahead and hand it off to Josh Jacobs. He goes left side, and that's a nice gain of about 10 to the 35. they will move to chains. Second and nine here. We've got trips to the left. Carr's back to throw looking he's gonna try to go deep Ruggs goes up and he makes the catch over Eli Apple what a play by the rookie Henry Ruggs going up to get it down to the 12 yard line we'll get another look here as he just goes up and makes a great catch right there over Eli Apple first and 10 from the 12 we're in the I formation once again we'll see what we can do handing it off to Josh Jacobs up the middle he gets a nice gain of about five or six right there we now have a third and four. Uh, Richard is in the game. Spread shotgun. Car's going over the middle. He's got a man. It's Henry Ruggs, the third. His first career NFL touchdown. Just a couple plays after making the big catch on the big play. So very good possession for him. Good start to his NFL career. I'm going to really like that Derek Carr connection with Henry Ruggs. So we take the lead back 17 to 10. And we'll see if Teddy Bridgewater can come out and answer. First and 10 from the 23. Bridgewater's going to hand this one off to McCaffrey. He goes up the middle, breaks one tackle, and is brought down by Abram for a gain of about nine. It's now third and one. They are still in the shotgun here. They send a man in motion. That's Curtis Samuel getting the pitch, and he's going to get the first down and more and shoves Abram away violently. Whew. Abram just got made look silly. Good thing Samuel went out of bounds, but fresh out of downs either way. Bridgewater back to throw, and he is going to be sacked, and that is Raquan McMillan. Had the interception earlier, and now he makes his presence known in the pass rush game. So that'll bring up a second and 15, nine minutes to go in the third. Bridgewater checks down to McCaffrey left side, and we are able to bring him down after a short gain of five. But oh no, Mo Hurst is injured on the play. Hopefully this ain't serious. So far all the injuries this game have just been minor injuries, so hopefully Mo Hurst will be back out there soon. We'll get an update on that shortly. As Bridgewater drops back on third and long, he's going to roll right and heave deep into triple coverage, and it's going to be broken up, intended for Robbie Anderson. So that'll bring up fourth down, and you see Mohurst has a torn labrum, which is not good news. That means he will not be able to return to this game. I'm expecting him to probably miss around three games, maybe four. So we will check on that after the game is over. So we get the ball back here, second and eight, and we go short to Aguilar on the left side, only a gain of about three or four. That brings up third down. We got bunch trips to the right. And Carr's going to look that way as he is picked off by Rasul Douglas. He had Aguilar, and the pass was just a slightly behind him. Either way, very good defense right there by Douglas to step in front of that. I was hoping he would get the ball more towards the sideline so that way only Aguilar had a chance for it. All right, second and five as... The Panthers take over in good field position here. Bridgewater's back to pass, and he's going to throw right side. He hits DJ Moore down to the four-yard line. That was a nice catch, able to hang on 
through the hit from Jonathan Abram. So we'll see what they can do here in goal to go. They got second down here from the four. Two tight ends to the left. And he's going to look that way. And guess who it is? C.J. Manhurts for a second touchdown of the game. We are having a lot of trouble containing their tight ends thus far. And that's going to tie the game up at 17 here about halfway, a little over halfway through the third. So Derek Carr back on the field with the offense. We'll see if we can answer that touchdown as Jacobs gets a few yards there on the first down carry. Now we have a third and five Trey Wright formation. We got Richard in the game. We're going to throw right side. And Aguilar had it for a second, but it's jarred loose by Jackson. You got to you gotta hold on to that one, Nelson. So we punt the ball right back to Carolina. We'll see if they can go ahead and take their first lead of the game. As they hit Samuel over the middle for a big gain out to the 40. And now we got single back formation. Bridgewater under center. He's going to look to the tight end once again. Man hurts with a big gain, about 14 or 15 there, out to the 26. We got to do something to stop him, man. And they are going to throw once again a quick slant to Robbie Anderson, and they are moving the chains with every pass this drive. They are just slicing and dicing us right now. Teddy back to throw once again, and he's got Anderson. Makes a move, and he's going to be tackled just short of the first down. Down to the five yard line. It'll be second and one here. Bridgewater back to throw once again. And he's going to throw it short. And it is going to be caught by Anderson down at the one. And big news for Carolina though. Russell Okung is hurt on the play. So we'll see if he ends up coming back in or not. It is now second and goal from the one. And I get confused here. I tried to make an adjustment as they audibled into an empty set. And I accidentally locked down to Kwiatkowski. But luckily, Eric Harris is there to bat that ball down. So now it's third and goal from the one. Can we make the stop? Hand off to McCaffrey up the middle. And he basically walks in. So Carolina takes their first lead of the game. Making it 24-17. to all right, the ensuing kickoff, we'll see if Zay Jones can get anything going to get us some good field position. He's going to take it to the right side, and he's going to fumble, and it goes right into the hands of a Carolina defender. And he goes all the way for a touchdown. Stanford, one of the backup linebackers, probably the play of his career. And just like that, Carolina gets not only their first lead of the game, but now we're up by two touchdowns in a matter of 10 seconds. So a huge swing of momentum right here, especially being in Carolina. So we'll see if we can answer that as we go to Jacobs up the middle, breaking a tackle. Nice gain right there, about 12 yards on the first down carry, moving the chains. Josh Jacobs has been very good so far in this game. So hopefully we can keep going downfield. As we hit Aguilar on the jet sweep on this one, and he gets a good gain himself, about 10 or 11 as well. All right, first and 10 from the 46. Back to throw. We're going to set up the screen for Jacobs. He's got a couple blocks, and he goes outside for about eight yards, maybe seven, out to the 47. But now it is going to be third and four. See if we can move the chains, keep this lot, uh, drive going. But Aguilar is unable to make the catch. A lot of traffic in the middle right there, and we have to punt the ball away. So Teddy starts this uh, drive from the 13, and they go to McCaffrey on the first play. He's only able to get a yard. Second and nine now, under a minute to go in this third quarter. Bridgewater back to throw, and he spins off his back foot and throws a dime to Manhurts on the wheel route. I can't believe he got that throw all the way there with his very low throw power rating, and he was throwing off his back foot off a spin, but whatever, they can have it. We'll go into the fourth quarter, down 31-17 after a huge third quarter from the Panthers. Since that first quarter, though, this Raiders team has not looked very good, so we'll see if we can stop them. And we do just that on that third and sixth play as McCaffrey's momentum took him out of bounds, and they punt the ball back to us. So after the punt, we start this drive with a false start, of course, backing us up to the 14. So it'll be second and 15. Shotgun spread here. We're going to throw it deep on the first play. We got Aguilar, and he makes the catch. Another huge gain on a deep ball. And a rookie uh, from Penn State, Gross Matos, is injured on the play for Panthers. So we'll see if he comes back in the game or not. First and 10, Jacobs up the middle, picks up six yards. Nice gain right there. He's approaching 100 yards on the day. I formation here. We're going to go to him once again up the middle. Not much going that time, but it is enough for the first down. So we'll move the chains there as he gets 102 yards on the game. From the 34, we got doubles each side, tight doubles that is. And we hit Williams on the right side. Nice out route there as he gets both feet inbounds. 
making it second and three. Still in the eye to the left, and we hand it to Jacobs. He makes one defender miss, and he's going to fumble before he goes out of bounds, and that is Carter Jr. with the recovery. Eli Apple forced that out. I can't believe that that happened. I was hoping the ball would just dribble out of bounds, but that did not happen. Jacobs with his first costly play of the game. It just sucks because we were driving down, about to make it a one-score game, and now right back into the hands of Teddy Bridgewater, who has looked very good so far today in his first start with the Panthers. And he continues that as he hits Samuel, who makes a couple people miss, and he's finally brought down at the 40. We got to do a better job of making tackles in the open field, especially against Curtis Samuel. He should not be breaking tackles like that. Here on second and six, Damon Arnett Jr. completely whiffs on McCaffrey, and he gets a gain of about 10 or 11 right there into Raider territory. So first and 10 from the 44. They try a quick screen, and Jonathan Abrams all over that, not letting Samuel get away that time. So that'll make it second and 13. Bunch trips to the left. Bridgewater in the shotgun, looking to throw once again. He's going to go right side, and that is DJ Moore making a nice catch, breaking a tackle, and down at the 29. So that's a big gain right there, about 20 yards, moving the chains. First and 10, they're going to send Samuel in motion once again on the jet sweep. They've been killing us with these, and he gets a lot of space out there. Nice open field tackle by Trayvon Mullen, though. If he doesn't do that, Samuel probably scores. So they send DJ Moore in motion over to the left side here. Two tight ends to the right. Bridgewater looking to throw over the middle. He's got Ian Thomas, who makes a nice catch at the five-yard line, making it goal to go. Teddy has hit 300 yards on the game. So we'll see what they can do on first and goal. He's going to go left side, and that is a broken coverage for sure. Christian McCaffrey should never be that wide open. No one was even near him. Easy drop off for the touchdown, making it 38-17 Panthers. So we'll see if Derek Carr can get anything going. Only six and a half minutes to go as Aguilar makes the catch over the middle. We're going no huddle already. There's not much time. So we got to see if we can make something happen in this three-score game. Car back to throw once again, and he hits Williams this time. And he makes a nice catch and gets up the sideline to the 45. We are now in Carolina Panther territory, so we'll see if we can execute on this drive. And that pass is going to be intercepted as Derek Carr got drilled, intended for rugs. And it was intercepted by Shaq Thompson. And he's got a huge return all the way inside the 20 and is finally caught by Darren Waller and company. That is an unfortunate play right there. Nice pick for Shaq Thompson, though. Carr got absolutely drilled as he threw that ball. So Teddy Bridgewater going left side, and that is caught by Robbie Anderson. It looked like Lawson was going to be able to make a play on that, but he was unable to do so. Second and inches now, and he throws right side. That's Curtis Samuel. For the touchdown, he is absolutely destroying us today. And the Panthers have absolutely blown this game open. 45-17, it is not even close. A game that we led for like the first two and a half quarters. So nice catch there for Waller over the middle as we're trying to see if we can do anything on offense. Car back to throw once again. He's going to go left side for Aguilar. And what do you know, another interception. That's going to be Eli Apple this time making the pick. And he himself gets a nice return as well, out to about the 43. And that's pretty much going to do it. It's too much of a lead to overcome now. As we actually bring in Marcus Mariota, as that was Carr's fourth interception of the game. So the backup is in. He completes a pass to Williams over the middle. But we don't really get too much going here. It is just too much of a blowout at this point. Uh, another completion here to Waller. Nice catch out to the 25. And now we have a third and 21. 25 seconds to go. Just see if we can get some more points on the board. And Mariota throws a strike over the middle, and that's Waller making the catch. And he hangs on after the big hit from Trey Boston. I don't even know why he's celebrating. We just got absolutely whooped. And Teddy Bridgewater gets a win in his first start with the Carolina Panthers, as well as the new head coach, Matt Rule, getting his first win in the NFL. And Dusty Jones, on the other hand, definitely got some work to do. It just doesn't look good. We outgained them in yards by quite a bit, but the six takeaways absolutely killed us, and that's how we lose by three touchdowns. Check out Bridgewater, 31 of 41 for 322 and four tutties. Derek Carr, 54% completion percentage. That is just not good. He did have 295 yards, though, but the four picks were absolutely killer. Two touchdown passes, and Mariota also threw a touchdown pass. 
for rushing. Josh Jacobs had a very good game. I do want to get his carries down a little bit more around 20. That's a heavy load there. 110 yards, no touchdowns though. Definitely need to get Richard and Booker into the game a little bit more often. Christian McCaffrey for them, 21 for 117 in a tutty, so he had a huge game as well. We just could not bring him down in the open field, man. It was, it was rough. Receiving, you see Curtis Samuel absolutely destroyed us, 10 for 110 in a tutty. Darren Waller had a huge game, though, 113 yards and a touchdown, 105 yards for Aguilar as well. And then you've seen McCaffrey had 30 uh, receiving yards and a touchdown. Man Hurts killed us with 77 yards and two touchdowns. You see uh, Williams had 60 yards and a touchdown. But then Henry Ruggs, huge day, 96 yards and a touchdown in his rookie debut. So really looking forward to seeing what he can do in the future. One big thing was the drops, man. I think overall we had like seven or eight drops as a team, which is absolutely terrible. We definitely have to work on that. I don't know if it's my sliders or just low catch ratings for my players, but... Here on defense, Corey Littleton led the game in tackles. He's just all over the place making plays. And Kratowski also had a very good game. I like Jonathan Abram, what he could do. But other than that, our defense kind of fell apart in the second half. But it wasn't really as bad as it looks, as a lot of the turnovers gave them a lot of good field position. We had a sack from Raekwon McMillan and one from Mo Hurst, who was hurt. We'll check on that here in a second. Uh, interception of the, for the day goes to Raekwon McMillan and, of course, plenty of them for the Panthers see we out outgained them in yards we had 500 yards and lost by 21 points that is just absolutely ridiculous so you see here Mo Hurst is actually going to be out for five weeks I thought it'd be three or four so out for five weeks but will not IR him because I definitely need him back in five weeks not eight so we'll uh, leave that there so we'll see him in about four or five weeks hopefully he is all good to go once he is recovered so before we get out of here, we will look over our next opponent, which is the New Orleans Saints in Week 2 on Monday Night Football. Defensive coordinator is worried about Drew Brees, seeing what our game plan is for him. We'll do whatever we can to stop him, of course, but you know Drew Brees has been around for a long time. We'll see, if, see what, what our defense can do. And as far as their defense goes, we got to take a look at Cam Jordan on the edge. Hopefully we can contain him. Hopefully we'll have Trent Brown on him most of the game, so that'll be a good matchup to look at. Look at this team, man. Top to bottom, the Saints are very, very good. Michael Thomas, very good wide receiver at 98 overall. And, of course, you got Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara at running back, very good in the pass game as well. So a lot like Christian McCaffrey that we just saw today. Also at tight end, Jared Cook. And then Emmanuel Sanders is an upgrade at the number two wide receiver position for them. Also very good tackles in Teron Armstead and Ryan Ramsack. And then defensively, of course, they got Cameron Jordan, who we just talked about. And then their corners and safeties are all very good as well. You know, Marshawn Lattimore leads that secondary. Then you got Marcus Williams and Malcolm Jenkins at the safety spots. So it's definitely going to be a very tough game. Sheldon Rankins as well as on the D-line. There's just a lot to look at here. They actually took the L in week one against Tampa Bay. As Tampa Bay uh, put up 17 in the fourth quarter to win that game by three. Only 255 yards gained for the Saints offense. That's pretty odd. Three touchdowns and a pick for Breeze, and Kamara had 17 for 53 on the ground, so not a whole lot there. Hopefully we can, you know, get the same sort of results. As you see, Michael Thomas had a huge game for 77 yards, three touchdowns, all of Breeze touchdowns were to Michael Thomas, so we might have to look at doubling him possibly. And that is going to do it. I'm going to do some slider testing to try to fix those drops and the injuries a little bit. But other than that, the game felt pretty good. It just got a little wild there at the end. So we'll see what we can do next week on Monday Night Football as we have our first home game at the new Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that one. Hit the like on this video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe if you have not already. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace.